Alza li cachol, si culpalesh, arin salinim la quiche, ishkawa, chacuaok. Bienvenidos a la Reserva Natural Privada, Chacuaok. Welcome to Chacuaok Private Reserve. And thank you for choosing Chicanel Birding Adventures for your trip today. Um, we have a lot to do today. We're going to start off with a little bit of light birding on the open trail that we have uh, over here to my left. We're going to start in the forest and that's going to take us on a loop trail that's going to climb up the side of the mountain and then we're going to be coming down near the stream on this side and then eventually we'll end up at the river. Um, I hope that everybody is in good physical condition. The walking is not super strenuous but it would be good to know if anybody has any sort of condition that we should be thinking about if we're going to uh, do this walk. So I don't consider this walk to be strenuous, but if you do feel like you're not up for it, please let me know. Due to some heavy rains that we've had lately, uh, the upper trail of the preserve is not in very good conditions. There's a lot of mud on the trail, and so we won't be able to be um, accessing the upper part of the preserve. But that's not a problem because most of the birds that we're going to be looking for, we can find them in this lower section. Um, today we're going to be looking for a couple of different species that I think are especially important to us because we're visiting from a different country. And so these would include some of the endemics that we have here. Uh, Guatemala has about 23 highland endemics. And of those, we, can, we have possibilities of finding about 17 here at Chacbaok. Um, one of the most important ones of these endemics is the bushy crested jay, Cyanocorax uh, melanocyaneus, which is a beautiful jay, uh, sort of a light blue coloration, and then the underparts are very dark, the head is, is black, and uh, the juveniles have a yellow bill. And so we'll keep our eyes open for them. They're usually pretty easy to spot because they're very loud and they're very obnoxious, actually, I like to say. Um, a different bird that we have opportunities of finding here is the green-throated mountain jay, Lampornifiri palens, which uh, inhabits the more humid lower section behind me here. Um, we'll have uh, opportunities to see that on the trail when we're inside of the densest part of the forest. Um, uh, after that, we will look for the scaled ant pitta, which is probably the most elusive bird that we can find at the Chahua Oak Private Reserve. And uh, the scaled ant pitta, Gralaria guatimalensis, can be seen on the path, uh, especially very late, nearly dusk, we have opportunities to see that. So I'm going to ask all of you guys to pay close attention uh, when we're getting close to the area where we see the scaled ant pitta. Uh, everybody drops in line behind me and then we're going to advance very slowly. At that point I'm going to ask everybody not to talk. So we want to keep our noise, the, the noise emitted by the group, we want to keep that to a minimum. And we're going to just go in very slowly and we're going to try to spot the bird. Usually he'll be sitting on the path and he'll kind of hop along sort of like a robin but then he'll actually bend over so he does this whole bending motion. Uh, when he's going to pick up a worm or an insect from the ground. And so that's really probably, in my experience, the most interesting bird that we can spot at the Chakbo Private Reserve. Um, additionally to that, if anybody was wondering, uh, here in the evening, uh, there's, there's no access to any type of uh, food or refreshments, so we're going to leave the preserve and we're going to go into the town of Coban and we're going to go to the nice restaurant uh, called Peñascal where we can enjoy some of the typical uh, traditional foods there. So when we're in town uh, we'll have opportunities to visit the ATM which is in my opinion the most efficient way to get uh, to acquire um, Guatemalan currency, which is the Quetzal. And so you'll have you'll be able to do that when we're in town later this evening. We're going to go to Plaza Magdalena and there uh, we'll be able to visit the ATM. And we can, you know, 
have a little bit of free time for people to go to, you know, purchase different items that they might have missed or they might might have forgotten to pack. Um, and also you can enjoy a very good coffee at the Dieseldorf Cafe if you're into that sort of thing. Um, additionally, um, the, the language that is spoken here in Koban is the Kekchi language. Um, but if you have Spanish as one of your second languages, you could probably get by pretty well. Uh, Spanish is the official language in, in Guatemala. And so I am fluent in both Kekchi and in Spanish. And so if you need me to translate at any time, I am available to do that. Um, also, I don't know if you read in the document that we sent out before the trip, uh, if you need to cancel for whatever reason, uh, we do refund 50% uh, of the tour cost uh, one month in advance, and uh, you do not get any more refund after that month. And so that's something to consider, but I think it's a little late to be considering a refund because we, we are here. We have the bathrooms, which are behind you guys, and you want to be careful with bathrooms in Guatemala because uh, you want to you want to deposit the toilet paper into the basket that's provided. Uh, toilet paper does not go, you know, into the bowl of the toilet. And so that's very important. Let's keep that in mind. We wouldn't want to cause a problem here at the preserve. Um, when we finish our loop trail that we're going to be doing, we'll have a little bit of free time to do some exploring down by the river. There's a lot of interesting plants, a lot of interesting insects. There's even some amphibians down there. So as it gets later in the evening, uh, those amphibians and insects start to come out. And so that's a, little, a fun thing that we can tack on to the end. I'll be around. I'll be available at that part of the, of the uh, trip um, to explain anything that needs explaining. But that's the free time where you can, you can sit and rest and enjoy the scenery and so on. Um, we'll be doing that at the end of the loop. So I would like to remind people that we are in Guatemala. And despite everywhere, all of the destinations that we're taking on this trip are very safe. We consider them to be very safe. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't uh, keep some precautions. So the preserve where we are right now does not have a wall and it does not have a fence around it. And so we have to always be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. Basically, um, keep your belongings with you. Try not to leave anything on the trail. Uh, try not to set stuff down when you're not going to be looking. Um, just keep everything on you. Be mindful of everything that you're carrying. You know, if it's your binoculars, if it's your wallet. You want to be careful with this stuff. Uh, we wouldn't want anything to get lost or worse, stolen. Um, and so, while we're on the trail, we want to keep together. Uh, we wouldn't want anybody walking off into the forest. If you're going to, you know, depart from the group, uh, you should be letting me know uh, when that's going to be, if you need to use the facilities or, or for whatever reason, if you're going to turn back and, and come back to here, um, please let me know because we don't want anybody to get lost. And so uh, basically we'll be following general birding etiquette on this loop and I want everybody to be uh, following me closely and paying attention to my motions. Usually I just signal that we have to stop or that there's a bird over there and I'm going to have to telescope with me so that if there's ever a bird that's in a good view, I just come in, plop down the telescope and then put the bird in. And then what we're going to do after that is I'm going to move off to my right and then I'm going to let people file through here. And so you come in from the left and you're going to move off to the right. And so let's keep that move movement here of the line to use the scope so take your time to get in once you've got the bird then go off to the right hand side um now once you've moved off to the right hand side try to get out of the way or behind me again so that the next per the next people can come in um so take a short view the first time and then uh if there's if the bird is cooperative and if the bird is still here uh we can do a second round and then uh, everybody can get a longer and better view. So let's be mindful of the space around the scope because we don't want to be, you know, taking up some space and making a traffic jam right here. Um, that's basically what we're going to be doing. Um,
people are advised to not walk in front of me. If you're walking in front of me, then you could be interfering with uh, how the birding is going and you're interfering with my performance as a guide. So I'm going to suggest that uh, you all stay close behind me. Um, additionally to that, um, I will be your guide. I am also your translator and I can give you any advice on anything that you'd like to do in your free time in Koban. There's a number of activities that you can do. You can visit the Plaza Magdalena, uh, you can walk around the Central Park, and uh, you can visit the ATMs. There's various things that you can do. Um, I will advise everybody to be very careful in the town because there are things that uh, we have to think about, security risks and so on, uh, in town. When we're out here in the in the countryside, it's very safe. But in town, like any town, anywhere, uh, always be careful with, you know, you want to think about pickpockets, you want to think about um, anything that could happen, which could happen anywhere. So it's not, it's not a specific cons consideration for this country. So we're in a broadleaf forest, and that means that there is a high rate of biodiversity here, um, and a very high number of endemics. We are in the highlands. And so that permits uh, us to find some of the highland regional endemics for northern, southern Mexico and northern Central America, um, including the highland guan, which we have opportunities to see up in the forest, although it's very, very difficult to find. Uh, this whole afternoon, we'll be hearing the diagnostic sound of the male's courtship display, which is a flight, a flight, a flight display. And they do this, they throw themselves off of a very tall tree and they'll make this sound as they go down. Uh, and the sound is actually created by their wing, a mechanical sound. And we've been actually hearing that as I've been uh, talking to you guys, uh, primarily up on the tops of these mountains. And so uh, keep your eyes open, keep looking at the tall trees, and hopefully we'll be able to see that bird. Um, I think the birds are waiting for us, so without further ado, I think somebody is back there with a box of chocolates, just waiting to hand them out. So let's do it. So I hope you all enjoyed birding with me this afternoon. I especially like the moment when the ant pit was right there on the trail and everybody got to see it. That was pretty fantastic. So I'll be sending you guys a list of the birds that we saw today, and thank you once again for choosing Chicanel Birding Adventures. I hope you come back soon to Guatemala. Thank you.